Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for being there, you know, uh, sharing my videos, just taking up the knowledge, you know, into our daily paths of, you know, all the greatness and blessings that we have throughout the world. So just like I send you blessings, you know, I appreciate the ones that you give me back. So with that all being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, you know, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empath to give and how it impacted your life and then you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information that you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for showing the channel love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my beautiful meditation, let me go ahead and turn it down. I hope it's not like overbearing anybody in the, in the back, but I, you know, and towards your videos, but towards my videos. But I would love for you to also hear, you know, the meditation in the background so you can get the full effect of it like I do. It's called Ask the Universe, Wish Fulfilling, Miracle Tone, 528 Hertz, Manifest, what you want, a miracle happens. And I will post that link in the description box below. And y'all, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101, putting into understanding what the universe is teaching us. Yes, putting in understanding what the universe is teaching us. First, before I say that, y'all, I know I'm on my last video I made, I made a comment saying, hey, I'm going to be back on Sunday, you know, uh, do my videos on Saturday and have them up for Sunday. I do apologize for not having that happen, you know, when you should try to tell people your plan or tell God your plan. Hey, it messes up, but you know, everything happens for a reason. I had my granddaughter the night before and she was kind of sick you know and for her sick and also being te you know teething she didn't really want to sleep and she would fight and sleep so i didn't really get that much sleep and plus we had a really bad tornado storm here so it was like messing with the wi-fi and the electricity and stuff like that and i did not want to be on any kind of electronics like that you know messed up and think oh god my videos might mess up or whatever so i just didn't want to go ahead and do that so i do apologize but you know like i said everything happens for a reason yeah i was um watching a video movie and you know if you've been with me for a while i'll tell y'all um universe have a funny way of sending us signs you know um they usually do it like i'm the type of person when i watch movies i'm like you know why why did all of a sudden did i watch this movie or why did i pick up this book and read it or you know um why was i you know reading this you know watching this certain video and these and this and this and that and it was like you know you can watch a movie a couple of times and it's just like it, and you were like oh, okay it might, might be a good movie but it can get you in another way like if, if, up in your feelings like makes you very emotional and what it did and me and my daughter were having quality time you know watching movies today and i was watching um uh this movie called the right and uh it was it's like I seen this movie. It had Anthony Hopkins. He was playing a preacher, a priest, in this video movie, and I always thought it was very good. I love Anthony Hopkins, Hopkins, all the way from um, Hannibal Lecter. So I always thought he was a really good actor. You know, he really can play his parts very well. And I've seen this movie a lot of times, like about three or four times, and I always thought it was good. But at this particular time. It made me think about all the situations I've been in through life. And I mean, it really hit me to an emotional sense. And my daughter was like, Mom, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. And, you know, I said, it, you know, the situation, if you've ever seen the movie before, um, this boy's father, I mean, this boy's mother had died at a very young age, you know, when he was very young. And um, after his mom died, I remember she sent him a little postcard, and I guess they didn't really truly show it, because I know I was falling asleep back and forth um, earlier. So it was just like, when I fell asleep, I remember my mom, you know, touching me on my head, and I haven't really dreamt of my mom in a long time, because my mom had passed as well, too. And she was just like telling me, 
baby, you're not alone. And I'm just like, Mom, what do you say? I know we're not alone, but why would you say that out the blue? And then come to find out, you know, his mom had said that same thing to him. And he was like, he, he was trying to find his faith. He was struggling with his faith because, you know, he was angry at God for taking his mom away. And I was like that too, you know, because it's like me and my mom went through a very, uh, let me see. It wasn't, we were like oil and water. <laughs> we had way of our showing love. It was like, you know, to hell with you and hell with you. You know, that's how we used to do is just showing love to each other. But me and my mom, my, my mom had a good relationship right before she had passed because she knew she was dying and she didn't want to leave the world like that you know with you know she wanted to fulfill her purpose so she stopped being angry because she was we were very verbally and mentally and emotionally abusive towards each other because of things that happened you know she really couldn't explain to me about you know especially about my situation that I went through with my father so it was like so many things that hit home for me watching that movie and I was just like dad you know I'm the type of person if I watch a movie you know there's a reason why you know I didn't know the reason why until after I watched the movie and I just sat there and cried and my daughter was like are you okay and I said you have there's a funny way of you going through things that will make you test your faith you know you could lose a loved one you could lose a child you know you can have um like cancer or something like that or something that's very terminal or going through changes that you know you get angry at god or universe about like why are these things happening to me and i told y'all in my video about the you know uh what is it how higher you know hypersensitive and i broke down crying and you know and it's, it's that is so true that god will put us in situations where we are broken in all kind of ways just for us to our, our our faith to be tested and it's just like we have to go through those things you know and i went through a situation like that today um or well, yesterday where you know i was helping people out on you know facebook there's a lot of things us as hey because we tell people the truth we mirror the things that they really truly need to learn about themselves you know you have people that are be down about themselves and that's the way they seek you know projecting their their feelings out you know which some people look at it like oh god why do they keep doing this or you know why are they so hard on themselves and then you know me as being a hey okay i would tell people the truth you know some people figure that out as a blessing because if i'm saying something very positive to you i want you to take it to heart you know learn what you need to learn about yourself you know a lot of people don't like corrective criticism me i love it because the fact is it helps me work on myself every day that you know universe will send people in our lives you know to give us that validation that you know your loved ones are around or give you that validation you could be talking about something and next thing you know the things that you're talking about post up in your life in some kind of weird way just to let you know hey we're watching you hey we're you know we're doing this for you and it was just such a blessing to know you know, I went through that situation where I hated God for taking my mom out of my life. I was like, finally, I got my mom the way I wanted to. As you know, I begged God, you know, why can't I have a mom that really shows me she loves me? My mom loved me, but she just didn't know how to show it in a way that, like, if you see it on Leave It a Beaver or, or something like that, we didn't have that type of love, you know, because my mom went through so much, um, must, uh, so much emotional abuse. So that was her way of projecting things out to me because she was going through so much herself and you know i was like oh i never would do this how oh, i never would do that and i had to tell myself i had to stop judging people like that because when you judge people like that god have a funny way of putting you in their shoes and let you know like this is the reason why they went through these things now you're seeing all these things you're going through and you look at you know i looked at my mom's situation i was just like you know what I totally get it now. <laughs> I totally get it now. Because there are certain things I project on my daughter I have to, you know, apologize for. But it's just like, that's why I try to be very careful about my words. You know, because words can hurt. You know, when you get upset, you might say something, even though you might have been in the heat of the moment. You can't take those words back. So it's just like, when the universe is sending something towards your way, you have to soak up that knowledge, no matter if it's good or bad. You know, I used to understand, try to understand why am I in this situation? Why am I seeing my ex with all these different women and, you know, doing this and this and that? And I really had to learn, like, you know, you're valuing yourself. You're not out here, you know, trying to fill a void with all these different men or, you know, trying to do that, you know, because I... I I said I can't do that you know that complicates my life you know plus I got too many diseases out there I can't do it so it's that was a blessing for me to be able to see you know even though that's what's going on with him you know they ain't got nothing to do with me I, 
I can't take that personal, even though we, we tend to take things personal when people hurt us. But that shows a lot about their character. When people cheat on you, that's, that's insecurity is about them. They don't have nothing to do with you, you know, because I always get hurt when I see women thinking they're flawed because their man becomes, you know, inconsistent or, uh, what is that word, complacent. <laughs> when they don't do the same things they did to get you. And it could be on a man's verse, too, you know, because they were like, Rosalind, why are you always saying women go through this? Because I know men, there's some good men out there that go through the same thing. And when we go through situations like that, no, it does not have nothing personal to do with you. There's a lot of things that they need to heal from, you know, emotionally and mentally, where they have to be able to see themselves, see their worth and everything like that. So when you go through situations, know that the universe is teaching you um, the things that you need to know about yourself and your surroundings. So I hope that was able, you know, somebody was able to, you know, relate to that situation or resonate with them. You know, the universe has a funny way of projecting the things we need to talk about. So I hope y'all all had a blessed weekend. I do apologize when I have my videos up. Y'all, I'm still tired. Y'all see, I'm like, uh, uh, you know, let me go ahead and say this or whatever. But much love to y'all. Miss y'all. I hope everybody had a blessed weekend. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. You know, drop me a line. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empath again. How it impacted your life and you towards a positive direction. And let me see who am I giving my post notification out to. Uh, the King Hayoka. Much love to you. Much love to everybody. I will talk to y'all next time. And you know, many blessings, uplifting blessings, loving blessings, and comforting blessings is that <laughs> along the way. Now I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace and be wild.